Now look, before we even get into this video, I just want to go ahead and apologize for this really bad lighting. I know it sucks, I know it's terrible. Work with me, I'm not a pro YouTuber. So today, I thought it would be a good, oh wait, no, that's not how I start off my videos. Hey hoes! It's me back with another video. What's good? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Today I'm just gonna be doing a case collection video because I personally love watching these videos and I've always wanted to make one. I've always wanted to make one of these videos and I think I have a problem. So this just might be my um little intervention on me to stop buying phone cases. Like I just keep all my cases in this really um in this really luxurious bag, you know, it's from CVS Pharmacy. It's just top of the end, top of the line, top of the end. It's just high end. Plastic is really in these days. I don't have a um, really fancy box that I put my phone cases in. They just hang out wherever. They were honestly like all over my room. Like I don't just buy cases all at once. I gradually build up a collection. Um, to make this video kind of short and not on the long side, I'm just gonna say where the case is from, how much it costs, do I like it, and do I get any compliments on the case. These kind of videos really inspire me to like go out and get cases in the first place. And this, is, this isn't this is gonna be a um, try on haul because I cannot trust myself without a case on this phone for two seconds. And this floor is carpet, so that says a lot about me. I just have a life proof case on my phone right now. Plop so plop socket. Pop socket on the back. And it's just the iPhone 6 in gold. And all the case all or all these cases will either fit the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6S, not the pluses, just the regular iPhone 6 or 6S. Now it could fit the 7 if you don't care about the headphone jack or the charging thing, but it mainly just fits the iPhone 6 and 6S. So yeah, and if you guys care, I have 16 gigabytes, which means I have no storage on my phone ever. Let's just get into the next case, I guess. This is from Walmart, and the pop socket is from Best Buy. And this case was around like $70. Yeah, I. My next case is from eBay. It costs around a dollar. It just has donuts on it, and I mean, this case doesn't get a lot of compliments. I haven't even worn this case that often I just only wear this case um, you see how many cases I have I only wear this case now but I just mainly wore this case like last year freshman and eighth grade year I don't wear it anymore I only wear this case like I just said so that's that case and it was from eBay so it was super cheap next I have this spec case and I think I got it from Walmart and it was like $27. It's just black and white grips. A funny story, me and my 8th grade teacher actually had the same exact phone case but she just had it in blue. That was kind of funny at the time. It's very good quality. Um, it has a lot of protection and it's a really good case. That's what I feel about that case. If I can get this bag open. My alarm just went off. Okay, my next case is from Five Below. It's just gray. It was obviously like $5. I really don't wear this case that much. I think I only wore it five times since I got it. So that says a lot about me. And I don't know if I ever got any um, compliments on this case. I like it though. It's like TPU material and yeah. The next case I have is Aspen Ovard case. And as soon as I saw it on the Wildflower website, I was just like, I have to have it it's so cute i think it was the first ever wildflower case to have a white bumper these cases are super protective um now if you're very clumsy like me then i would um pair it with a screen protector but if you're a very safe person then just go ahead and wear this case without a screen protector it was around 50 dollars but i in the past i bought most of my wildflower cases with coupon code from previous purchases yeah, but I really like it it's really cute and it's like pastel colors which is a plus next case I have is this Autobox case it just has two parts pink and white I don't know my colors today obviously and 
I got it from the T-Mobile store and it was like $27, just like the spec case. Getting so many notifications, guys, I'm so popular. <laughs> just kidding, they're YouTube notifications. <laughs> so next case I have is this really crappy marble case. I got it from eBay. It's just a really crappy design. It was like a dollar again. And I don't recommend this case. I only wore it, I think, once. And I don't like it at all. It's not even marble to me, so. The next case that I have is this e what? I got it from eBay and this case is just M&M and it's blue and I really like it. It's really protective because it will come around your phone so if you ever were to drop your phone face first then it probably will be protected depending on the height of where you dropped it, you know? So look out for that. But this is one of my favorite colors and I used to love wearing this case but it just got so dirty and I suck at cleaning things and I'm not organized and I'm just an all-around dirty person I'm a mess it's just gonna stay dirty okay the next case that I have is this case that legit cost literally cost ten dollars from I don't even think this case is worth ten dollars now um, when emojis were like the thing I got it at a gas station and it was ten dollars and it's just two parts I think it would you know save your phone from if it were ever to drop face first it would prevent it from cracking um but i just don't like the colors i don't like the red i don't like the blue i don't think i'm ever going to give any of these cases away maybe in the future i'll have a giveaway if i were ever to grow more from this channel but you know that's not happening at the moment because some of these cases i just do not use at all um but yeah yeah i just don't like it I like it because of the emojis. Okay, so the next case is just this uh, case that I think I got from um, a friend in the past. It's just TPU material and it's not that protective. Like, it's really not. And it's just purple. The next case that I have is this wildfire case. And this is one of my favorite wildfire cases of all time. It's kind of see-through, I don't know. I love it so much and I wish that I wasn't so clumsy that I only had to wear a life proof case because I really want to wear this case but I'm just so freaking clumsy that I always have to keep this case on and I can't even wear this case anymore and oh, I'm so sad because I really like this case and oh well so the next wildfire case I have is this cherry wildfire case and Funny story, I accidentally ordered two of these wildfire cases, so this case will definitely give away in the very distant future. I obviously don't want two of them, so. And all of the wildfire cases that I'm showing you guys are from at least 40 to $50. And I love the black bumper around it, and it's just pink, the wildfire symbol in the corner. I love wildfire cases. Next, I have the Maddie Bragg wildfire case. It has the pink background, which is a very pretty pink. Forest green, palm, palm leaves, yeah. It's really cute and I love it. Next is this Tinkerbell case. And it's just one of those cases where the character holds up the Apple logo on the phone. So it's supposed to be lined up like something like that. But it really wasn't, so I just stopped using it. And it has a TPU material. It's from eBay, and it was around $3. Yes, $3. Next, I have this stitch case that my, a friend gave to me because she was giving away all of her iPhone 6 cases because she was going to upgrade to the 6 Plus, I think. So she just gave me most of her iPhone 6 cases and this just happened to be one of them and I was already looking for a stitch case she was gonna give one to me for free so I was like that is a plus but there's no ears which I'm kind of disappointed about but it's whatever it's fine and this is just what it looks like it's silicone and this is obviously very protective so next I have a Starbucks case obviously all the basic girls have a starbucks case i just have this one in pink it's obviously again very protective and silicone and it's very bulky i could barely fit it in my pocket it just doesn't fit in my back pocket at all but it will protect your phone the next case that i have is another two-part case this part is pink and this part is green obviously if you couldn't tell it's very protective like most two-part cases that i have are really protective and 
yeah okay so the next case that i have is a very pretty case like i would honestly wear it right now if i had a screen protector but i don't have a screen protector and this life proof case has this built-in screen protector obviously but i would honestly be wearing this case right now because it is so cute and this is one of the cases that my friend the friend that was giving away off all of her um iphone 6 cases this was one of the cases that she gave to me i'm gonna keep this for a long time because it is very cute the next case that i have is one of these like knockoff Victoria's Secret pink cases. It's very bulky and silicone-y. I got it off of Amazon and the logo looked nothing like it did online, but I'm still happy that I got it. It was around like six to five dollars maybe. I don't know, but you can just literally look up pink phone cases and it this will probably pop up and mm, what's happening with my throat? It's just black and the thing is white. I don't know why I keep explaining you the colors. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This is the other cherry um, lock bar case that I got that I told you guys. I accidentally got, <laughs> again, around $50, which is a lot to spend for a case, but desperate times. And I really wanted that case, okay? So, I'm sorry. The next case that I have, I used to wear all the time with this one pop socket that I had. It had like a heart on it and it was so cute, but it lost its stickiness, unfortunately. And now I don't know where it is. This case is just one of those water cases that people say that there was a trend going on where they said if you were to break this case that the liquid inside it would burn you. I don't believe that. Like I can't even feel any heat. Like I don't believe that. I would honestly still use it to this day, but it has no protection and it's obviously made out of a plastic material. Um, but it's like beach themed. It has pink fluid <laughs> and it has a blue dolphin, um, a palm tree, and a seashell. And I really like it. It's really pretty, but I mean, if it were more protective, then I would wear it. Then I have another knockoff pink case which i don't use and it's super cheap material it's very plastic and it's it can be like easy to break it's not protective at all so would i recommend this case i mean it's kind of chip not chipping but the pink is kind of like scratching off i don't know i don't recommend it and i got it from amazon and it was around a dollar then i have this one bumper case that i believe i got it from ebay it has a um frosted back on it and this bumper used to be a very light pink color like this pink but um i gave it to a friend way back when and it came back this dirty purple brown color and oh well now for the just kidding. I really thought this was going to be the last case. Um, psych! Now for the second to last case, it's just this, um, and I don't know how to describe it. This Mandela. But yeah, it's one of these, oh, henna, yeah. It's one of these henna cases that was very popping. Like, you can just tell that I'm very trendy. Like, I like to be on top of the trends as far as phone cases. And I really like this case. I think I got it from eBay either eBay or Amazon. I'm pretty sure I got it from eBay and it was around a dollar. And all of these eBay cases and Amazon cases are super cheap. I definitely recommend going on eBay or Amazon to buy cases, but just make sure that you do your research and that you're not setting yourself up to have uh, a really crappy case because unfortunately that's what happened to me with this one and that's what happened to me with this one. So, and a lot of others, but I don't know where they are. But I really like it, and it again, it was a dollar. I did have, um, I think I did have a lot of compliments on this case, but I don't wear it anymore because I can't be trusted without this case on my phone. So. Now for the last case. This used to be my all-time favorite case, but somehow it broke. Yeah, somehow right here, it broke um, to make it seem like water. Like they had just dropped their phone in some water. Yeah, I used to think that was so pretty and then there would be like ombre and stuff. That used to be so pretty to me. But then I broke this case and I think I got it from eBay. And if I did, and it was probably around a dollar and it's just TPU material. So we are finally done with all of my cases. Nothing is left in this bag and 
Feel free to just count how many cases I have. Leave them down in the comments if anyone even watches this video. I have no idea how many cases I have and I know I have a problem. I need to go see Dr. Phil, some type of psychological professional because I'm not right. <laughs> but there are so many other channels on YouTube that have made these types of videos that have like 50 plus cases. I don't feel like going through all of these and counting how many I have because that's just too much of my beautiful time wasted but feel free to leave down in the comments how many cases i have because i genuinely want to know so thank you all for watching for all of you who did watch stay bad hoes stay popping no slut shaming here like do you boo do you boo all the freaking time that's all to say i'm terry and i'm outie bye hoes must be something underneath